What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Hyper Gaming and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new Xbox One 2005 dashboard update also known as the Xbox One May 2020 dashboard update. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first feature that we're going to be talking about in this update video is the improved simplified guide which has been made available in this update. So if we go to the guide, you'll see that this is exactly the same, but if we go to the people tab, we now have access to friends, clubs, recently played and looking for groups all in one section. Find someone now has suggested friends. In the parties and chat section, you now have access to parties, messages and invites are now in one single location. Achievements and caption share is exactly the same as before and in profile and system you now have access to various functionality of the Xbox such as sign into different accounts, console settings and help. You now also have the option to customize guide tabs as well. As you can see this is the new default so instead of the guides being on the middle it is now on the far left and we can now press A to move any of these tabs around using the left or right on the D-pad. So for example, if I would like profile and system on the left and then I would like guide in the middle, I can do that and click on done. And you can see my guide is now got the new customized guide tabs. I can then go back into customized guide tabs and select reset to default, which will restore the settings to what they were before. So that was the new simplified guide which has been made available in the Xbox One 2005 dashboard update. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be showing off in the Xbox One dashboard update is the improvements that Xbox has done to My Games and Apps. So if we go to My Games and Apps, uh, you can see there is a new functionality on the far right which is called Surprise May. What this will do is it will allow the Xbox to choose a random game that has been installed on your Xbox. So for example if you're struggling to find a game that you want to play you can get the Xbox to choose one for you. So for example, I've got Surprise Me, it's recommending me Total Reliable Delivery Service. I can do it again, it will recommend me Sea of Thieves. If I do it again, Creature in the Well. So every time I select it, it will select a random game in my library. This also applies to groups that you have. So you can see I have got a TV and a test group. TV contains apps and then the test group contains uh, games. So if I go to the TV group, I can press the menu button and then in the menu I have got surprise me. So this will um, surprise me of an app that is in that group. So you can see I've got demand five. I can do it again. It is recommending me one guide. And if I do it one final time, it is going to recommend me Demand 5 again. Because it's a small group, it may recommend me the same apps multiple times. Same thing with Test. I've got various games such as Battlefield 5, Black Desert, Bleeding Edge example. I can go into Surprise Me and it will recommend me games in that particular group. So if we go back to the games tab, uh, the second feature that I would like to talk about is the improved filter options made available in this update. We now have any number of players and any genre. As you can see, I've got 101 games installed on my Xbox console and I can sort by local multiplayer, online multiplayer, local co-op and online co-op. For example, if I've got 101 games and I only want to show the games that I've got online multiplayer, I can select online multiplayer and done. Here's all the games. You can see I've got 47 games filtered from 101 and these games feature all online multiplayer. So if I go back into the filter option and go back, you can see all my uh, games are back. And then I've got any genre. So for example, if I would like to sort my game library by a particular genre, you can see we have got all these genres here, from like role playing, shooter, simulation, sports example, etc. Uh, so let's say I want to search my games library by games that are um, platformer. I can select platform and select done, and here is all the platformer games in my games library. 
This also applies for the Xbox Game Pass. So you can see you've got the same filtering options in Game Pass. Uh, Games of Gold, you've got the same as well. And then in EA Access. So that is the improvements that Xbox has done to my games and apps in the Xbox One May 20. 20 dashboard update okay so the next feature that we're going to be showing off in this update video is the improved community experience which has been completely redesigned so we go to the dashboard and go to the community tab and select xbox community you can see it's got a brand new user experience for example we have at the top got something to share which allows you to share something to your activity feed access to trending on xbox which will allow you to browse popular content on xbox live clubs on xbox which will allow you to see what clubs are going on at the moment and also to check your pending invites and then you've got refresh which essentially just does a, a refresh you can see we've also got various sections such as xbox news which will provide the latest games and the hottest deals you can see we've got various news such as inside xbox this week on xbox and all that lot Below that we have official part, uh, posts from games which shows you what's new about games you follow. You can see we've got news regarding Sea of Thieves, War Thunder, Path of Exile, City Skylines example. Below that we have Shared by Friends which shows you uh, captures achievements and posts from people you follow. For example your friends, you can see I've unlocked achievements in Saints Row the Third. Uh, people have, uh, my friends have taken screenshots in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Halo Master Chief Collection etc. The next section is club activity which shows off content from clubs that you're a part of. So this can include um, posts, screenshots, um, game clips and more. And in the final section of the community um, user experience is popular on Xbox Live which will show you all the content that is currently trending on Xbox Live. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be showing off is the new events tab on the Xbox dashboard. To access this you need to go to customize, add more to home and then go to from Xbox. You will notice that there is a new event tab which you can access on your Xbox dashboard. So if we've done that and go back to the dashboard and go to events, this will now show you all the events which is currently going on on Xbox Live. You can see you've got FIFA 20, Sea of Thieves and Minecraft. You've also got the events application which has been pre-installed on your Xbox One console which will provide all of the information you need to find out all of the events going on at Xbox Live. So you can see we've got FIFA 20, Sea of Thieves, Minecraft, Overwatch, World of Warships, Legend and all that lot. I can press A on any of these events to get more information of that particular event. You can see this is War of, Ship, uh, War of Warships, Legends. You can see you've got a description of the event when the event is occurring, if it's live or not, I can select if I'm interested or not. I can then launch the game, view the store, uh, so if I would like to buy the game or download the game, I can do so from there. And also go to the official club. You've also got screenshots of the game that you would like to play and then related products. So this could be related to DLC, digital currency and more. So that is the new event app and the event tab on the Xbox dashboard in the Xbox One May 2020 dashboard update. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to be talking about in this update video is the improvements that they have done to Mixer. And it's not that big. Uh, if you go to the Mixer section and go to Mixer, you now have live previews of events which is currently being broadcast. So if you hover over a streamer, you can see that you have a live Live preview of the streamer which is currently broadcasting so you can see this player is currently playing Sea of Thieves I can hover over this guy that's playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare and I'll get a live preview of that particular streamer so that is the improvements that Xbox has done to Mixer in the Xbox One May 2020 dashboard update and that is about it for this video on Hyper Game I hope you've enjoyed watching it in today's video we've been taking a quick look at the Xbox One May 2020 dashboard update uh, make sure you comment like and subscribe for more gaming content on Hyper Gaming and I'll see you in the next one